What's up, y'all? Sparty here. Um, I want to do a um video comparing the screens. Pretty much <clears throat> the LG's O LCD technology versus their new OLED technology. Now, I'm gonna do this in a case of. If my Note 8 will stop unfocusing. I'll do this in the case of what phone does better in terms of brightness, in terms of color reproduction. Now, keep in mind, I'm not a color whiz, wizard or anything like that. I don't know everything about how color should look and how it should be represented. But from the images that I picked to show on the screen, it is indeed something that I do know because it's images that I've I've pretty much used as wallpapers throughout pretty much the life of all these phones. Oh, and of course, I got to uh, give me one second. Sorry, I had like a shit ton of <laughs> photos in the specific folder that those the files I Bluetooth decided to go into, so I had to switch them up a little bit. But, sorry. Um, so first I want to start off at each phone at their lowest brightness setting. Just so you guys can see how low each display gets. Now it's probably due to the fact that I'm using a brighter background on this image, but let me just pick an image on each of these. Just so you guys, so you, just so you guys can get a Decent representation of how each of these look. Eh, same photo either way. Okay, so from what I can see personally, I see that the V30 has a bit of a dimmer image. Now, keep in mind that the LCD technology obviously has, you know, a backlight. And OLED has each individual pixels light up on their own. So that, in a way, to conserve battery. So, obviously, it'll be brighter on the V10 and V20 compared to the V30 when it comes to how dim these phones get. Now... To get that out of the way here real quick, I'm actually going to go to their peak brightness on all of these here. Just so you guys can see. Um, what each of them look like on the lock screen. Now, from what you guys can see, the V10 has the most backlight bleed of the three. The V20 has the least. It's like very kind of unnoticeable and a lot of angles, like from what I can see from where I'm looking now, it doesn't, you can't see it really, but it's there. The V30 doesn't have none, which obviously should be the case since it's an OLED panel. <laughs> I double tap on all three of these displays here. And as far as which one is brighter, say, on the lock screen, I'd say the V30 is, a, is brighter, but it's not to the point where I can't. Like, from here when I'm in indoors it's not going to be so noticeable but say i'm gonna talk about how it is like outdoors 
V10 is not so great. V20 is better, but it's not. V20 is usable and out is usable outdoors. V30 is like miles better as far as being able to see outside goes when it comes to outdoors and in bright sunlight, lit environments and all that. Um, as far as, you know, how colors look and whatnot on these displays, I'm going to stay on the same image that I was on. Now, the problem is I have a, I have the same image on the V30, but it's, <laughs> it's oriented differently. So give me one second while I switch to the proper one on all of them. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right there. And as I said, they're all on their brightest setting. Now my V30 has, V30, V20 has, um, LCD damage due to it getting cracked. So don't mind that. But as you guys can see, when I zoom in on this picture here, And I let's compare V10 to V20 here first. As you guys can see, they look pretty similar. And from my point of view, I level wise, they look pretty much the same. As far as the backlight goes, it's a bit more like bluish. On the V10, like, it's gray. I mean, grayer on the V10. Well, on the V20, it's pretty much the same, but not as, like, it's not as pronounced. But obviously, both, you can kind of see how they look. Both look pretty much similar as far as, like, color reproduction and all that goes. Morgan's um, hair here is kind of turquoise-ish. Kind of like not how her hair actually is. Whereas on the V30, as you guys can see, there's no backlight at all. <laughs> no backlight bleed at all. Which is what you should which is what you should expect on an OLED panel. Looks very nice. Um the green the green in her hair is more vibrant. It doesn't look as like bluish. But that's not to knock these two displays. They still look great. They're still fairly detailed and they look nice. But this looks, the image looks sharper on the V30 overall. And if I shift the display, you don't get as much as that, like, you know, blue shift if you use something with a black background. But nonetheless, it looks nice and it looks very, it looks good. And that's what matters the most. It doesn't look... <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. It doesn't look terrible. There. <laughs> like a lot of people want to try and say. Now I'm going to go into a picture of Shodan from System Shock. You guys can probably see the difference. <laughs> Quite a bit, actually. Let me lower the exposure. The V10 and V20... The V20 is more... The V10 is more green than the 3. And the V20 and 30 are more bluish. The V30 is actually more... Comparable to what the image actually looks like. Because I also have, like... A little poster of it too, and it looks pretty much identical. You guys probably can't see it from here at all. Probably looks blue, but it looks pretty much identical to how it should look on the V30. It's more green, it's more turquoise ish, it pops. And I think that's what a lot of people do like. But will I but what I will say is that it doesn't have that like oversaturated Samsung pop. When you go to like the right of the display. It's dark. You can see the stars and stuff. It's not blown out. On here, you got on 
these two. <laughs> oh, that's like quite a difference. You guys can see that the blacks are grayed out, so the stars are kind of like, you can't really see much of the stars, and you can't see much of the detail due to that. On the, uh, I'm just make I have to constantly make sure that these are on the same brightness, but on the V20, it's versus V30 is pretty much the same thing. But nonetheless, if you don't have an OLED versus an LCD right by you, it's not going to look, you're not going to be able to tell right away. And I think that's something that looks very nice. Um, One more image, I guess. I, I guess I'll do the Pixel 2 XL wallpaper. Or the pixel wallpapers. Now, obviously, they don't fit the screens on here because these are 16 by 9 screens, and the Pixel 2 XL has an 18 by 9 screen, so I have to zoom it in on both of these here. <laughs> um, what I can say here is that oh, pressing the volume buttons on the V20. What I can say side by side, which is probably something you guys can't really tell, but I'll tell you guys, um, the colors are a bit more muted on the V10's display, like the gray in the sky background right there looks very, um, it looks gray. On the V20, it's pretty much the same thing, but it's more blue, it has a more blue tint right here, and it looks a bit more, it looks better. But on the V30, it pops a bit more. It's vibrant. It looks nice. And even when you look, let's say, side by side compared to the V10, V10 versus V20, you guys probably can't see it as much as I can, especially due to the fact that I'm right here. But the V10 is due to its brighter display. And due to its vibrancy, it does look a bit, it looks better in my opinion. But again, that doesn't mean that the LCD panels on the V10 and V20 are trash. I still prefer LCD in a lot of ways. But I'm not going to lie and say that <sighs> the OLED panel on the V30 is bad. A lot of people just compare it to another AMOLED display rather than what LG has done previously or what a manufacturer has done previously. And they just think that, oh, because Samsung does it this specific way, everybody got it. has to do it a specific way. Now, I can't compare each wallpaper on here because they're all different wallpapers, so I'm not going to get into that. But as far as that goes, I guess that's it. Um, since I'm using Nova Launcher, my V10, I got to change where I double tap, but, <laughs> um, let me know what you guys think of this. What do you guys think of the V30's display compared to these two, the V10 and V20? Personally, if I were to pick one, obviously I got to go with the V30, mainly because it's a newer panel and LG will get better over time with this, give Keep that in mind. Samsung wasn't all guns a blazing out of the gate, so I don't see why people expect LG to be that. But I'm not going to talk about it anymore. That anymore. Um, this is Sparta. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the support. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful Friday morning, evening, or night, whatever time or day it is, of day it, or day it is in your area. Have a good one.